Hey everyone and welcome to the first installment of This Week in Bone Lab. Now first off I think I need to explain myself, as nobody knows what this is yet, as this is the first episode. So today is going to be a bit more of an explanation as to what this is. So the structure might be a little bit off in this video, but in the future we will refine these episodes more and more until they are fully, hopefully, perfect. So what is This Week in Bone Lab? This Week in Bone Lab is hopefully going to be a weekly series on my channel where I cover all things to do with mod development, mod updates, mod releases, official update news, art, cosplay, clips, literally anything to do with the game Bone Lab. And the goal of this little news update thing is to inform the community of what is going on a little bit more and get everyone involved. I'm also completely willing to have other people come onto the show and speak about their mods slash their projects that they are working on so we can further promote what people are doing. On top of all this, you directly can get involved with some of these news episodes. In my Discord server, I will be hosting weekly fusion sessions where we just play fusion for a bit. Sometimes these will have certain themes just to spice things up. So we can have a night dedicated to a little bit of fun. And these play sessions will be known as Friday Night Fusion. Every Friday night we will host a fusion server in my Discord server. Just do know that if you do join these sessions, you will most likely be on camera as these clips will have a chance to be in the next episode of This Week in Bone Lab. On top of this, we also have a Bone Lab submissions channel where you can submit any of your mods, clips, art, anything like that. You can submit it in this channel and it will have a chance to be in the next episode of This Week in Bone Lab. At the moment, the schedule is going to be an episode every Sunday, and I am also open to all criticisms on how I should structure these videos. So if you think I could do things a little bit better in this video for future episodes, then do let me know down in the comments, and hopefully we can improve in the future episodes. The main purpose of these videos is to be entertaining, informative, and be a great way to shine light on people that really deserve it. And with all that said, why don't we get into our first episode of This Week in Bone Lab. If there's one thing I've always wanted in Bone Lab, it is automatic enemy spawners. I love the idea of having a thing that can spawn enemies throughout an entire stage instead of just me having to go to, let's say, an arena. And this now becomes possible with the amazing Q10 is a robot's quality of life spawnable mods. This mod comes packaged with a bunch of other features too, but, but my 100% favourite is the enemy dropship. You can also download this separately as an enemy dropship mod. Now this thing... Oh, this thing, it's got so much customization and it's super fun to mess with. You can select exactly which enemies it spawns, ranging from literally all of the NPCs in the game. You can choose whether the dropship moves around the map or not, so if you want to, you can just have all the enemies spawn in the same location. And there's also an option to toggle props. So instead of populating the area of NPCs, this thing will populate the area of a bunch of props and ammo for you, so you can just turn flat planes into whole battle arenas just by the click of a button. I am in love with this mod and just look at how much it can transform a place like Halfway Park. Shoutouts to Q10 is a robot for making this mod. Yeah, I'm good. Turn around, little man. No. No! no! <laughs> Oh hey, I'm just chilling on the beautiful modded map by Bavacorp, Above Water Abode. This map is very beautiful, and if you want to come and chill on this map with your friends or by yourself, then feel free to. But anyway, let's not get distracted. Let's take a dive into the Crew Cart's mod map. Just over here. This one has me in real life. Look, mm -hmm. that's me. That's yeah. what I. That's my physical presence. Give it. Drift, 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 drift. Oh, I'm insane. You see? He heard. Slot that in. Then that opens up. Yeah. Alright. That's cool. Prop through here. Bam, we have a little dev room here. We're probably gonna spice these up a bit more in a bigger in another update, but for right now. Yeah. They're just kind of like this. So far, very impressive. Ian and Sam have both been working on this map for quite a while and it gets pretty consistent updates. So if you want to come and check it out and discover cool keycard rooms and a bunch of cool other little stuff, then download Crew Carts today. And hey, they even made me my own go-kart in this map, which is super cool. That's right, the wig wagon is here. Thank you very much to these two for making me a go-kart. That's just super awesome to me. Is, oh. oh my god! Oh no! 
Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Have you ever wanted to watch some of the most satisfying reloads in the entirety of Bone Lab? Look no further than Sprite VR on YouTube. He recently uploaded a Bone Lab Reloads Part 2, and it has some awesome reloads, and it's really relaxing and cool to watch. Go and check out the full thing. Introducing Kung Lao's hat. Oh, oh my. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh god. You're listening to hits written by a man who went insane. <laughs> That's right, you are wearing a free package of Nobody Soup that will be delivered directly to your house. And in fact, just not any flavor of Nobody Soup, but the new mystery flavor that has now been released. That's right, everybody. Today we have a sponsorship from the amazing WCCK Radio. Our sponsorship today is Nobody Soup by Pie Lover. Nobody Soup is one of my own, actually, original creations, but Pie Lover was kind enough to add these into the game for me. There are many flavors to choose from, and this is a great mod for nice little props to have around your buildings in Bone Lab. The new mystery flavor is absolutely amazing. I love it. Come grab your Nobody Soup today. It is taking MythOS by storm. Don't you hate that your enemies are always not in front of your gun? Well, don't worry. Now, with the plunger gun, you can stick onto those enemies and kill them. Revolutionary technology. Safe to say that Bone Lab is getting a little bit out of hand. And a great example of this this week is the new mod by Not Enough Photons. Did you ever want to play Doom in Bone Lab? No? Okay, well you still can anyway. This mod features an insane amount of NPCs and boss fights straight out of Doom, which you can fight in Bone Lab. How is this real? Mods are actually getting out of control and the SDK isn't even anywhere near done. This is absolutely insane. Go pick up Doom Lab today if you want to go and rip and tear in Bone Lab. Uh, hello? 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 I said, what are you doing, buddy? Get off! What are you doing? Can you use me as like a bridge? Oh, ooh, oh ooh, my god! Yeah. That is so sore. Rex mech attachments on the vanilla Bone Lab weapons by Soul with May. With this mod, you can force grab bricks again. Wait, wait. Found it. Yeah, connected by these wires. Oh, there's four Jimmy cubes. Oh my God, yeah, it is. Well, how did you like that little montage of interesting clips? Like I said at the start of the video, if you want your chance to be in here, then make sure you join my Discord server, link will be in the description, as will be all the links to all the creators and mods that were featured in this video. Do stop by for a fusion session as well, if you do want to be in our fusion sessions and potentially get yourself a clip in these videos too. Alright, well just before we pack things up, we're going to take a little look at a few more headlines. One of which is actually, in fact, straight from Brandon himself, an official Stress Level Zero developer. I'm sure many of you know about the body tracking clip, but did you know we got a second one on Discord? This one shows Strong doing some weird dance, but hey, it's cool and could mean big things for the future. And the last two things I want to speak about today are to do with cut content that has been brung into the present. Gmod N actually managed to port the old blacksmith hammer back into Bone Lab. This thing went unused and could be seen in one of the early Bone Lab trailers, but never made it to the full game. But this mod brings it back. Speaking of stuff that never made it to the full game, the Avatar gun has also been ported back into the game by Atlas. 
This was a dev tool that never made it into the official game and there are a few hints about it around in the game, but this mod brings it straight back, which is really cool. And with all that said, that is going to wrap up this week in Bone Lab. I hope you enjoyed. Do you think that this type of video works out and would you like to see more? Because I am very willing to do more episodes of this. Do let me know down in the comments if you guys have any feedback to do with how we can improve this series. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Goodbye. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. Gunner Dehan, Ten Tickles, Zeromatic, Pie Lover, Mizzy Keen, Dank Mean Boy, Perch Fly Fox, Jojo and Chris, Ninja Gamer, Fernando Yurista, Oddo, Sage of Kindness, Flamsy, Coles Tunes, Mystery, Leal Doe, The Best Eevee, and Flipper Flopper. You guys are the best.